Another hot day. Another hot day of triple digit heat. Looks like that's going to continue through at least Thursday before we do see some slightly cooler weather move in and then maybe even a pattern change by early next week where we do have some monsoonal moisture trying to move back move back in. That certainly would be nice because we would like to see a little bit of rain around here that would definitely help with the drought situation, the fire situation and also uh, really cool these temperature readings off uh, right now in Silver City. We're looking at a mix of sun and clouds as of 1245 this afternoon. We're already hitting 96 degrees relative humidity at about 14% and still picking up on a breeze out of the south and east gusting to about 17 miles per hour. Silver City, you could see a couple of isolated storms later this afternoon. In fact, we are seeing some of these storms now developing across the eastern slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Also seeing a few of these storms now beginning to develop near uh, Catron County as well, but we'll zoom in uh, a little bit closer, especially out toward the Hemes, picking up on a few lightning strikes as well. Most of these showers and thunderstorms producing frequent lightning strikes and even some gusty winds near Mora and also Las Vegas. Some of these actually trying to work their way uh, east of Interstate 25 near Wagon Mound, and these will be producing some light to moderate rain, but some of that rain could be picking up as we go into the afternoon hours, but we're still tracking this ridge of high pressure, and this is still uh, the, the main culprit for a lot of the heat that we are going to be seeing over the next few days, but it looks like some of the models are hinting that this ridge of high pressure will be shifting eastward as we go into early next week, and that's actually going to allow a little bit of a surge of some of that monsoonal moisture, so keep your fingers crossed that we do get some of that rain in here by next week. Otherwise, it is all about the heat. Trinidad already hitting 101 degrees. We're in the low 90s in Las Vegas and Santa Fe. Farmington, you're in the mid 90s as of 1245, 95 in Socorro, Roswell already hitting that century mark, 99 in Las Cruces, so you're still uh, not far behind, uh, 97 in Alamogordo with Carlsbad and Deming also in the upper 90s. So we do have those heat advisories in effect for the majority of the state until about 8 o'clock this evening. So again, limit your time outdoors uh, through the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. and make sure to stay hydrated uh, with plenty of water. And I do think those heat advisories will get extended at least through about Thursday because we are going to be dealing with more of that triple digit heat. So today we're still looking at mostly sunny skies, maybe a few clouds, a few more clouds up to the north and out to the west. And a lot of these showers and thunderstorms will be favoring the higher terrain, our mountain zones across the northern tier of the state and also out to the west where we're also going to be dealing with more of that extreme heat, especially in Chavez County, uh, where daytime highs are supposed to be about 106, 107 in Roswell this afternoon. Hopping over into Wednesday, looks like we will see a slightly better coverage of some of those showers and thunderstorms and due to a uh, very slow wind, the steering winds that uh, we could see some heavy rainfall as we go into tomorrow afternoon as well, while it remains uh, pretty hot across southeast New Mexico. But it looks like we could see maybe a flooding threat, mainly especially up uh, across those burn burn scar areas in Roswell today, though we're looking at 107, mostly sunny skies, 106 on Wednesday, overnight lows cooling into the mid 70s, and then notice by Saturday and Sunday we're back down to about 100. Silver City will top out at 96 this afternoon, 101 in TRC, and then up in the Four Corners, mid 90s in Cortez, 94 in Durango, Cuba. You're at 96 today, 101 in Farmington. Also, that's the same number on Wednesday with high in the upper 90s and then we start that cooling trend by Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid 90s as that ridge of high pressure kind of pushes off to the east. So the heat will be easing up early next week and hopefully those storm chances will be increasing. Santa Fe, you're at 98 today. Also tomorrow with highs in the lower half of the 90s by Saturday, 99 in Roy hitting that century mark in Clayton today with 106 in Tucumcari and in the East Mountains, lower half of the 90s in Sandia Park and Cedar Crest. Edgewood, you're at 98, 90 in Moriarty, 103 in Belen, Los Lunas, and Busque Farms, and then up in uh, Rio Rancho, we're at 102. Minimal storm chances today, so I do think you will stay fairly dry, although that rain chance will go up to about 20% for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 101 here in Albuquerque with a 10% chance for a pop-up storm today and tomorrow. We're back into the mid-90s by Saturday and Sunday with isolated to widely scattered showers and storms.